I think we're good to go. Good to go. You know, I'm just going to do a little introduction. Rob, before we get going, do a little introduction yeah. just to the camera. How's things? Everyone, welcome back. We are here once again for another transformation. A um, little synopsis, a little analysis of Mr. Ian Mar beside me. But before I get going, this is actually it's a very special episode because this is going to be the first one, you know, hopefully. First one, I hope we put it out there yeah. of the James Hinton show. All right, so you're, you're, the, you're the first guest here, bro. You're the first guest. I am honored. You're honored, and there's no pressure, bro. No. There's no pressure. So I hope everyone at home, you're very welcome here. Like I said, first episode, the James Hinton show. We're going to hopefully get this out as a podcast as well as video format on the YouTube. Um, but I'm here with the man of the moment, Mr. Ian Marr. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening to you too, bro. Good evening <laughs> to you too. It's been 12 weeks, man, that we've been together. And, and probably a bit longer, a bit longer. Yeah. Back in, I think, April. Was it April time we crossed paths? Yeah. In and around then. When you were coaching Dara? Yeah, back then. I was. So that's, that's how we first, because obviously we hadn't seen each other in a few years. Yeah, I was living yeah. in Scotland, you were home here. And we crossed paths, crossed paths while I was working in, in Black Rose. Yeah. And you came on board because what you do is video, videography, photography. Well, yeah. You helped me out big time, man, back then. Mm-hmm. And back then, um, I was eyeing you up a small bit, you know, I was going, ah, you never know, at some stage, you know, down the line. Well, and here it. we are now, man. And it's so crazy how quick time passes and, and literally, yeah. we're literally having a conversation about it now, bro. It's absolutely flew. It's gone so quick. So quick. It's gone so quick. Yeah. Like, it, we, like I said, it was April time that we started. But the first question I always start with everyone, you know, and even, yeah, the first question I was Sarah, take me back to the beginning, bro. Take me back to, to where you were when we kind of first met back then, maybe the job you were doing and how you were feeling about yourself and everything going on in your own life. Yeah, well, back then, it was completely different, completely different life to what I'm doing at the moment. Like, yeah. Um, even rewinded even more, I was back, just finished college. Took, yeah. it took a few extra years in college, but we yeah. finished Got 2020, there. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and I literally finished up and then gone straight into a job. Uh, and that was kind of straight into the nine to five, like straight out of college, straight into ninety five, just from COVID. So there was no kind of transition. Transition. It was just straight in and then I was, you know, and the before, usual. Well what's so crazy about that man, and I think a lot of people experience that, and I did too, especially with any job, when you when you study and then go straight into the profession that you study for, it's like Everything just happens so quick, man. Yeah. Do you never actually get time to think about That's things? That's it. You don't catch it until it's sitting. You're already. And then it's too late, yeah, man. Yeah. And it's too late. And it's funny because when I met you, bro, you were obviously working in a job that you weren't so much enjoying at the time. Yeah. And there would be sessions that you showed up to at the beginning, and I could just sense straight away the energy that you came with, man. Yeah. You'd been through a long day. You'd been traveling back and forth like crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean, maybe not so much enjoying the job you're doing. And I can relate to that, like I said, man. I was in a, the nursing career. I wasn't enjoying what I was doing then in that moment you yeah. know what I mean but look you're here now man well, you've it. deviated a path for yourself mm. and you're in a much better place but um, the one thing I'd like, like kind of give, give people kind of a center point to start off tell me about how you were feeling when the initial photo was taken the photo I actually took it was so funny man because we had just finished up with Dara so I just done six weeks with Dara mm. you had taken the photos you're taking oh, Dara, photos yeah, of yeah. Dara and when then he was you, looking absolutely unreal like that Dara's yeah. was looking amazing I mean yeah. he just done six weeks um, but then you were like you were starting off in your own journey at the yeah. time I think were you hoping to do a photo shoot yeah so I was training with a mutual friend of ours Jamie <laughs> Mr. Um, Jamie Smith shout out to Jamie he was a Jamie. great trainer like in Black Rose he has huge client base bringing people to photo shoots things like that like yeah. that's what he does he's yeah. great at that um, and I think it was it was almost that I wasn't ready for that kind of training like I wasn't in the right mindset to be doing that kind of stuff do you know what I mean yeah yeah like what was uh, it was it too uh, was it too full on yeah like my head just wasn't in it at the time because everything was like the job was nine to five and that was like my first year of hitting the nine to five trying to do that trying to commute to and from work problems with the car problems like everything like everything was just piling up and it just wasn't going well and then when you try to put any sort of fitness on top of that then you just you can't give it your 100% because right? you, you didn't have the time no you didn't man, have the time and, didn't and, have the and energy. a big part of that is actually the energy man if you're yeah. doing all that traveling you see commuting man and yeah. look look it, it just takes up a lot of your time you know what yeah. I mean? especially 9 to 5 man you're probably always hitting that traffic when it's when it's bedlam you know yeah. what I mean yeah. you get home you're tired the last thing you want to go do is train some days well, you know it. what I mean like, it, it was like the 9 to 5 but it wasn't a 9 to 5 it was wake up at seven o'clock yeah. then you're into work for your eight hour shift or whatever and then you're not home till like half six in the evening and then you're heading off to the gym you just like everyone glorifies the grind but like yeah. you shouldn't be grinding that's not that's not the ideal situation no like, well, the grind is something that's like 
you know, you're it's getting, literally a grind. Like. It's a grind, yeah. but in, in the case of being a grind, you, you almost enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, but you have to enjoy it, or else you're doing it for nothing. Like you're exactly. just going in search of chasing money. That's what it is. Grind yourself into the ground. And that's so oh, interesting, yeah. man. And how was it? How long was it into that you were doing the nine to five that you kind of realized that? It was kind of like like I'm very bad for it, where I'll start something and once the novelty is gone, like yeah. I love I can love anything. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But once the novelty has gone, then it's excruciating, do you know what I mean? And the novelty had kind of gone from that, starting a job, getting a few bob, like, do you know what I mean? And then driving, like the driving was great, you could listen to podcasts, like yeah. a podcast in, I had time to myself in the morning, drive and drive home. But it was just then when the novelty went, that was it. That was it, yeah. It wasn't fun anymore, it wasn't. And everything kind of took a hit then. Yeah. Because there was no energy levels for fitness, there wasn't energy levels for work, and so everything just. Struggle to get training in, yeah. and everything else just, that went with it. It was everything was going 50% rather than just focusing on one thing yeah. at 100%. You know? Well, you were quick to decide, man, because I remember at the beginning of our training, and obviously I've seen you from multiple sessions that we show up to, mm. and I remember thinking that it won't be long till he, he's out of this job because it was having such a toll on you and such yeah. an effect to the degree that it was. It, man, and I, look, I said, I said it before, I've been in that situation as well, man. If you're working in a job and it's making you feel rock bottom awful and you're getting no satisfaction out of it, you can't continue doing that job. No. And especially, you know, and then you found your own path, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, you're an aspiring videographer, photographer, man. You're pushing that now. Well, yeah, that's you're what literally, I love to do, so. it, it, What's mm. so great about you, Ian, is where you were back in April. It's not where you were now in September, man. No, it's not. There is such a massive correlation between the it two. It feels like a different person, like looking back, even at the, some of the stories we were looking back on. And exactly, man. Like, and yeah. even, even that photo today, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over, man. It's ridiculous. It's crazy, man, yeah. because I think, what, what was the weight that you were walking around there? That was, like, I felt leanish at that like I, I've always been kind of you, you I hate sorry. that word but skinny fat is yeah, 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 yeah. Like, because like even now like you can pick up the arms in your hand, the weight on your hand and yeah. you're like no I've, I don't have excess body fat but yeah. like I was 84 point something kg back and then would you consider that heavy for you? I suppose for my height it's probably it is actually yeah. for my height like your you know your BMI whatever yeah, you call yeah, it yeah, uh, yeah. it's it, it's considered overweight and yeah. it was overweight I was overweight and, for and, myself and, and like, do you remember yeah, because February's always such an interesting time because you're just coming out of winter and all, you know, you're, well, already, yeah, you're probably yeah. eating to You've got that cushion already. Exactly, like, you got yeah, that yeah, cushion for yeah. the pushing yeah. already. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but um, what was I going to ask? Like, how was your energy when you're walking around with that weight? Like, like remember we were referring oh. to the photos because we've been, we've been looking at them quite a bit uh, leading up to this this week and just the noise that we make associated with the photos. Oh, like, really how really slow yeah. your mind must have been. Because yeah. I think... And it's quite common in the fitness world for people to bulk and cut and everything that goes with it. But when yeah. you're bulking, man, I think it can have a lot of downsides to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying not saying don't do it. You know? No, this there's, is my, a, this, there's a use for it. There's a use for it, 100%, yeah. man. This, this is just my own opinion. But when you get to that weight where you were, everything just must be so slow. Yeah. And how you feel about yourself, man, if you're walking around with that excess weight in your body that's making you feel that heavy, man, it's like, how do you have energy for anything else in life? It's just, it's sapping the energy out of your body. Yeah. Just just to try, trying to keep you going, you know what I mean? Well, that's it. Like, it, it wasn't a bulk because a bulk is when you're when you're shredded and then you go into the winter and you say, I'm going to put, on a, put on a few pounds so that my body can build more muscle and then I could again. Exactly. But it wasn't that. It was that were I was you, lazy, you, I wasn't you, eating properly. And Sorry to cut across it. Were you, no. were you planning on cutting at some stage? Well, yeah, that was the plan. That mm. was always the plan. And I was always like, oh, I can almost see an ab there. So I'm not, I'm not too far into the bulk. Like, mm. Do you know what I mean? But if it's just... Now it's a different story. We can see many abs. There, there is a few there. There's a few there, there bro. Go, but... And do you know what's so crazy, man? Like, it wasn't up until maybe the last two weeks that they kind of got shredded down yeah. as well. And I think that's diet. Like, everyone has abs, but then yeah. you just, you need to that's get them out there. That's exactly. the thing. Yeah. There, I, think, I, think what, I think what the phrase is that the, the old abs, they happen in the kitchen. Well, it's all about the food you eat, man. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. And look, training goes with it, don't get me wrong, mm. but it's definitely, it's getting to, obviously, like you said, a leaner body fat. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So tell me, so perspective, you were quite slow in terms of just energy-wise because you're carrying mm. that additional weight. Outlook, obviously, you're working in a job you weren't enjoying. Yeah. How that's been flipped on its head in such a short period of time, man, it's just crazy. But it, it just goes to show, man, and like you're a leading example now for people, if you want to transform your life, because you have many things on the horizon that are coming as well. Like, yeah. you're now... Moving to Spain. Moving off. The eagle Moving is horizons. the eagle is taking flight <laughs> for the autumn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone he is. Yeah. So man, look, the thing like I just think, what a beautiful story, man, because mm. obviously we 
we planned this day quite a while ago. Today is the last day in August, yeah, 31st. Yeah. It is, yeah, it's first tomorrow. Um, first of September. It's so crazy, man, how quick things can happen in life. But I also think what's really important as well with this whole transition of you, you know, is when we did set that date, man. When I said mm-hmm. to you, Ian, this, we've got 12 weeks now, bro, because because you had already picked a day out when you are going to Spain. Yeah. That's so important to have in anyone's life, man. Whether it be a tra- transition or whatever, we should always have dates in our lives that we're looking forward to yeah, or challenging deadlines ourselves. And... Deadlines, yeah, man, yeah. exactly. Could you describe kind of the focus it may have given you by having that transformation deadline? Mm. Did, it, did it kind of, what changed in your own mindset when there was like, okay, Ian, we've got 12 weeks out, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like a boxer that's going for a fight, he's got a 12 week camp, whatever it may be, man. How did that change your own mindset and focus when that happened? Well, back then when I was, we, like I had a deadline when I was training in that other gym. With yeah. Jamie. No, you can mention it. Black Rose. Yeah. Black, um, Rose. Black Rose, scary. Black Shadow. Rose. Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> when I was training there, I was with Jamie. We, we had deadlines and stuff like that. And yeah. we were like, look, here's when we're going to do a photo shoot. Like, if, like let's knock a date down and we're, we're going to aim towards that. Yeah. Um, and I think it was just that, like, like anything in life, like you put deadlines down, but it, you need, you like, it's you need not just putting a date and it's going to come. Like, you need yeah. to do the work, but yeah, you need 100%. to be there, there to be tuned in for those 12 weeks. Like, you need to actually have a plan in place for yeah. you saying there is 12 weeks, you need to plan out those weeks, and it's not just you wait 12 weeks and then. And then it happens. Like, no, it's like the build of like 12 weeks is the finish line, but yeah. in order to get there, you have to run the race. You still have to do the 12 weeks of work. Like, exactly, so man. Just, and look, over this course, we've done, we've done a tremendous amount of work. You know, we, yeah. we've. We've got in multiple sessions and it just goes to show man the more work that you put in the more that you get out because well, that's it, yeah. because I, the next question that i have for you i was going to ask is is what's what's one quality that you possess now that you may not have had before before we started i think well i've already kind of mentioned this but yeah. i think even the mental quickness and the mental speed like a, you can talk about your body being faster stronger better but like when your mind feels sharper, that's a different kind of transformation, do you know what I mean? And tell me, what would have made the old mind a bit sharper? Well, there's a few tennis balls. Ah, there's tennis few balls, tennis man. balls in there. Definitely what? so, man. It's reaction drills, you yeah. know? Get the brain stimulated, get your yeah. eyes involved. Know where your body is in space, man. It's yeah. all key. And like, it's just simple things, man. But I, for the reason for me um, training them exercise, man, is because I actually enjoy them myself, yeah. you know what I mean? When I have you in that spot, so say for example, if people are watching, and we can probably add a clip in here mm-hmm. as well. When we have the six cones, which are all different colors, you're standing in the middle. We're only playing today. Yeah, yeah. And I throw you that ball and I call the cone. Your first reaction is to catch the ball. Then your reaction is to hear what's being said, process that in your brain, and go to whatever cone it is. Yeah, so you've you're just, what what about. you're building up there is, is quickness and thought, yeah. is the speed and thought. Yeah. And you want to have a quick mind, man, because there's no point, like relating back to February, man, mm. you're walking around all sluggish, can't I was literally do, slower, do, like, do, do, you know what I mean? My body and my mind. Exactly, Crazy. man. And it's just, that's such a great quality to have, man. And I was going to actually mention it, I think one thing you've developed more than anything, bro, over this journey is work ethic. Yeah, 100%. I think that's increased tenfold, man. I just think the, the sessions that we've done together, man, I, I can see it in you, man. And it's reflected in the body that you now have as well. Yeah. Is you're a man that works hard. And that's something that you will take forward now, hopefully, for with you with the rest of your life. Yeah. I think one thing about that is like, it's not that it gets any easier, but it's like you, you're great for like, right, we have five sets of five, and you're like, fuck, oh, five sets of five. Yeah. But then you're like, right, we're four sets in, and I actually feel okay, and the strength is there, and last week I got five sets of five. I can do it this week, like it's yeah, fine. 100%. And it's building up that mental resistance, like resistance training of the mind that you're saying, Five sets of five isn't anything. Email for twenty five minutes is fine. Like I can do this. That's do you know what I mean? I it's love not gonna be easy, but it's it's still building up that resistance in your mind. You're callousing your mind, man. Yeah. You're making your mind stronger. Mm. That's what it is. And you're I think every time that you do that, man, it's like a building block for your confidence to grow because yeah. what happens then I, I, I feel like you start to believe in yourself so much more. Yeah. You have more belief. And look, man, I think looking at you now, you know, different fella, bro. I, do you know what I probably should start doing? Is sit down with people before the transformation yeah. happens and after. You and I say that'd be a very you'll dry talker, you'll be talker, Lord Dursh. It'd be a very <laughs> slow video. <laughs> 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 but it really would. Them Is photos, you know? bro, I can't get yeah. over them photos. I can't wait because no one's actually seen them just yet. Obviously, I threw up a reel yeah. today, which which is a front on photo of the and the photo back in February and then the photo of you now, which is a fucking. It's, it's literally like I've taken off a fat suit. 
No, yeah. that's it. I hate that. I hate saying that word, but like, do you know you've lost like, a lot, man. You've like, lost. Yeah. What, what are you weighing in on now? Uh, Seventy-four. And like, like the number on the scales was never a goal. That was only just so I could see how much was dropping off. Yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. That was like losing weight is never like if I could be a hundred kg at ten percent body fat, that'd be the ideal. Yeah, exactly, but, exactly. But yeah. It was never about the weight, but it was about. I can almost see the fat coming off and that's like me getting quicker, it's me getting lighter, literally lighter on my feet. And energy, me. man, because I remember yeah. you did mention uh, one of the sessions that we had, I think maybe I had a heavy night work, or we trained that morning and you were in work later that evening and you were just, you were going home feeling energized. Yeah. yeah. It's like when you start to put more effort in, it's the, the more energy you start getting out. It's yeah. like, it's crazy. how does this actually make any sense? Because I'm putting all this energy into something mm. in terms of fitness and strength and trying to look good. But in return, I'm becoming a way better person, yeah. you know what I mean? And it could be 8 o'clock at night and you're like, all of a sudden, it's like, I've just been a zombie all day. And yeah. now, I'm, now I'm ready to go. Like, I'm exactly. Energized and, and you're just flying. Yeah. Fine. Talking about the evening, bro, let's take you to the night, right? Because you have, uh, over this course, we've, we've had a lot of sleeps, a lot of wings, you know? Oh yeah. A lot of wings, many wings, of, wings. of course. Over 12 weeks, you want to be sleeping a lot during that time. Yeah. Sleeping every night, of course. But let's talk about let's talk about a dream that you have. If, oh, if yeah. it, we'll, we'll, we'll just go down this route, you know. When you're asleep one night, let's give the people a bit of a recap, right? Mm. So I think it was the first time we done pads together. Yeah, pads as in boxing, boxing pads, pads. Yeah. boxing pads. And that even good good session on the pads, man. Yeah. Hitting them well, moving well. I'm not a boxing trainer, but I like to, I like to mm. get get the clients involved in a bit of pad work because I feel it brings out this innate aggression inside all of us, man. I think it's, it's really encoded in our genes. Because yeah. I think, think back like thousands of years ago, man, or even not even that long ago, hundreds of years ago, maybe, no, maybe thousands. In, we're quite tribal in nature, you know what I mean? We love yeah. having a sense of community and when we're, in, when, when we're in a community, we won't act a different way than what's happening in the community. Yeah. And tribes used to go and fight against one another. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I feel that innately, it feels good to punch and hit something, whatever it may be. It releases a lot of tension in our body. Yep. Like I said, it brings out that kind of aggressive side to us as well. But obviously one evening, we had the opportunity. I was like, you know, mm. you're looking good, bro. Let's, let's get on the pads here. Let's, let's just change up the training a small yeah. bit. So we had, hopped on the pads. You done well that evening. You went home. And what was the, the dream? What was the dream that you had that night? So, you know what a dream, like you wake up and you can remember it. You're like, oh my God, that was like, Real. It was actually there. Yeah. And then like a few days later, you can't remember. So I can't actually visualize it anymore. But I remember saying to you, I was like, James, like, I had a dream about me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was a charity boxing match or something like that, where I was like, I was actually fighting someone. And like, that's not in my regular dream, pro- dream, 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 dream category. category. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, I think we talked about this before. Like, I'm not a very aggressive person. Yeah. Quite timid, you yeah. know. Like, it takes a lot for some, like. The only time aggression will come out is when it's bad aggression. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. it has to be click and then I'm like yeah, angry. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah. not, um, not something that would be in my dream state anyway. And then all of a sudden, I think we were talking about this as well. So maybe it was one of them placebo things. I think, like, I, I, I can't remember, I don't know at the time if someone had mentioned about, because we were talking about a challenge for the month mm. or whatever between the Purusha group. And someone had mentioned doing a charity boxing gig. And I was like, lads, it's too soon. We, we haven't even yeah, been yeah. on the pads just yeah. yet. Maybe that's what kind of inner subconscious was in there. Mm. And then came out in the dream. But what I, what, what, I find, what I find quite fascinating is that you had that dream about fighting. Only after doing a pad session, yeah. man. Because, I don't know, man. I feel, because I experienced something similar. And I couldn't, I actually I was telling you about it. Yeah. Before you even had that dream, I had something similar while I was over in Scotland. And I started training a bit of Muay Thai boxing because mm. it's, it's, it's big over in Scotland yeah, yeah. for whatever reason. Um, it just, I had a dream one night, man, that I was defending myself. I was shout because I'd be quite timid like you, man. Yeah. I'd be very timid like you, uh, especially when I was younger. It's something I'm trying to get over, man, because I think to be timid, man, it's something that you actually can get past. You yeah. know what I mean? Well, we'll dive into it in a second. But what happened in this dream, I was defending myself. I was shouting back and that's something I'd be, not something I'd be kidding do it all you know yeah. what I mean I would never do that man I would never do that at all but I woke up invigorated man I came out of that dream like I, like it was real life I knew it was real I was like let's go man I was yeah. like I felt just I think aggression is is when it's controlled I think it's very important to have it's and I think that's what you experience through doing them boxing drills and maybe the intense training that we had as well is a level of aggression that you've never experienced before yeah yeah I definitely think so I think that's what it was 
But um, where was I going with that, bro? So we're talking about dreams. We're talking about aggression. And we're talking about, actually, one thing you mentioned again, but being timid, being mm. timid. How has that changed over the course of the 12 weeks? Because you're definitely, one thing I noticed, and then we can relate this back to the game of handball that we played on the beach many yeah. times. And there's actually a clip, <clears throat> I didn't get to show you, right? Didn't get to show you. But the biggest group that we had, we had a six on six game at one stage. Mm. It was a massive game, bro. And this is at the beginning of our journey. I think this is around, could be May time, May the beginning right. of June, all right? So we're about, yeah. we're about six weeks into the process, right? Yeah. And there's a clip from that game, bro. And the ball goes over the side. And there's kind of a bit of kind of rebuffal about it. Whose ball is it? No one really knows. And everyone's yeah. kind of refereeing each other. I think you got pushed away from it. And I remember watching that. I remember watching it at the time. And it, it ingrained in my head, I go, this can't happen to Ian again. Two weeks later, we were down at Port Marnock Beach, man. And you were like, you were like Kante on the ball. You were everywhere, man. <laughs> you were over everyone. But I think that's what's happened. That's what the transition of you being, because I wouldn't like, You'd be quite timid guy now, like I am as well, man. But I think you're slowly learning and understanding, man. We have a choice in life. We can either be timid or we can be boisterous, all right? Yeah. That's just a choice, man. Yeah. It's a learned behavior. It's just a behavior that's learned. You can either be nice, quiet, still guy. You know, he, someone, someone tells him to be quiet and he shuts his mouth, you know yeah, what I mean? So or you can be different. boisterous. You know, a bit louder in how yeah. you speak, man. You can kind of push the shoulders out, push the chest out, mm. speak your mind, man, and don't be pushed off that ball as easy. Yeah, and I think more than timidness, it's almost like, maybe not a, hu- like not a huge lack of confidence, but there is like a parallel between aggression and confidence. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. So like- Having it control or having it under control. Yeah, if you don't have confidence in yourself, you're less likely to be aggressive with other people, like healthy aggressive, like, do you know what I mean? Like competitive, things like that, all those words come up like, um, and I think maybe just like a lack of confidence or a lack of outwardness. Voice, boisterousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just don't kind of like those moments go. What was it? What was it that you think that kind of flipped the switch? I think it was the Perusia classes, like. Really? Because, yeah, should, like, we were kind of doing that sort of thing before we got fully into training. Yeah. And I think that kind of interaction between men and like being able to, How he- you know, yeah, compete you, together. You, and... you said it there, man. How healthy is that for, for men of any age, mm. but especially men our age, both 25, you know what I mean? Yeah. We need a certain level of healthy aggression. Well, that's it. We do, man. Yeah. And, and what that does is builds your confidence, you know what I mean? 100%. And I think this can be seeked and found in such as such as physical games, because that handball game on you're, you're like rubbing off lads, you're trying to yeah. slap the ball off each other's hands. There's a 50-50 you're going for, you know what I mean? So yeah. <clears throat> it's something that's needed. And when you get that level of aggression in a healthy sense, mm. the confidence starts to flow. And, and like, I, that was the first, like we were kind of doing that every week. So that was the first team sport really that, I know like it's not a team sport, you go and play other teams or whatever. But, uh, we might get a little proof of five going. Who knows, who yeah. knows, the who knows bro. But like since I was 16, I hadn't played a team sport, I hadn't played on a team, hadn't played with other men, like, do you know what I mean? There was no kind of team sport, team activities or anything yeah. like that. Well, that's needed, man. Since like, minor gal. That that's was, crazy. That was the last time. That's so, madness. Was it under 16? Did you not play minor? No. Well, I, I think I played minor and then, yeah. I, then, and then they stopped dropped after that. After that. So, yeah. like, the last nearly 10 years. It's of, crazy. Like, solo, fitness, things like that, like, very and individual look, sports. There you, you said it there, man. I think that's where the sense of community comes in so key. Yeah. Because when you have a group of guys like we have over this course of the summer, now the summer's obviously coming to an end now, it's like when you have a group of lads there and you're like being, like, like I said, being physical with one another, man, you're meeting up on a Saturday morning, you know it's gonna, there's yeah. a few elbows, there's well, a few dicks like, in there, but you, that's what you want. So that's what you're there You for want that, yeah, man. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what you want. Yeah. You need that physicality. And I think that has such a correlation to the rest of your life, man. Mm. You know, don't get me wrong, man. I think, like, we need that level of physicality. Yeah. Even with men, and then, I'm trying to word this properly, man. I was gonna say, like, you need to be physical with men almost, and then. <laughs> no, there's a I'm lot of that, yeah, yeah. And then, in yeah. many other senses, you can be physical as well, you know yeah. what I mean? It's about empowering yourself, mm. man. And that's what happens from being around all this masculine energy, you take that off. Yeah, when you strip it back, it's just endorphins and it's chemicals that, like. And men, testosterone, yeah, man. Like, that's a big one. All this training, yeah. all being surrounded by lads. Because that's something I lacked for the last while, man, living mm. in Scotland. I was working a job as a nurse, man. And I was surrounded by women the whole yeah, time. I was like, orientated, like yeah. fucking hell, you know, I, I'm just going crazy here. All I'm seeking is this yeah. masculine energy. Yeah. And, and I think sometimes that, the gym and fitness, you can't really express your... You can't. And I think the reason, sorry bro, sorry to cross, no, but I think the reason for that is because it's so individual. Yeah. 
that's what it is. Whereas you need to interact with other people and things like fighting and like jujitsu, things like that, where you're actually interacting and like you're competing against another man usually. So like that releases all sorts of male hormones that you need to release. Like that, that's what they're there for. That's what they're there for, man. It's a primal instinct, like primal. Yeah. You said it, bro. Primal instinct. Yeah. That's exactly what it is, man. That's that's such a key point for people to take away, man. Is you have these primal instincts within you. You know what yeah. I mean? Don't disregard them. Only like give it like go forth into them yeah. go forth into them and look what it's done for you man mm. and look what it's done for all of us you know what i mean yeah. this has been a, an absolutely amazing experience man because you transition from this real timid quiet guy yeah. you know what i mean hello my name is Ian. and it's every aspect yeah. of life and then you're like yeah. look at you here now man you're like let's go you know what yeah. i mean and that's what i love man is like seeing the development of a person seeing you seeing the self-development in you as well yeah. man because Think of all aspects, man. The next point that was going to come on to is like discipline and how you kind of discipline yourself. And one thing I can literally think from the top of my head, man, is like showing up in May when it was somewhat cold, you know what I mean? Yeah. And doing MC dips, man, you know what oh. I mean? Talk about, talk about how this process maybe has made you more disciplined or how you see yourself as being more disciplined now. Yeah, and I think starting off with a group or going, going onwards with a group is just, it, it, it's amazing. Because you're, you have that encouragement where one of the lads might text in and say, look, like going down for a dip this evening. And it's usually on a, like a, every Saturday we were there getting yeah. to see and we were all walking in together and there was no, kind of, like even at the start, yeah. like that timidness again, I was kind of like, oh, you know, I don't really want to get to see. And then you give into it, man. You into and it, you're man. invigorated. You and come out. Yeah, you find out what has been missing from your life. Like, and you're like, we need that, man. Not, you, you, know that, you know that reaction we all have when we get out of our like, ah. It's incredible. This, and I love yeah. doing it, man, because it's every time adrenaline. it's pure adrenaline. Yeah. It always reminds me of McGregor on stage in front of a crowd of people, man. It's the same. But it's what it thing, is, yeah. is this adrenaline coursing through your body and it makes yeah. you feel alive, amazing. man. Yeah. It makes you feel amazing. Yeah. It makes, from having that much adrenaline in your body, you feel incredible, man. Yeah. And it's especially and experience. It's not just a theory, it's science. Like, it is, literally is chemicals releasing from your body like that. That would have been dormant. Well, well, well think, think how stressful it is to go into the cold water, man. And that's yeah. why, like, you don't see everyone do it. And it's so funny, man. The majority of people that do do it, they're like the nicest people going. Yeah. And like I think a humble, it like a humble you completely. Hundred percent. Completely, yeah. man. Completely. But any, is there any other element of discipline that you see in your own life, just from a personal perspective, not not from a group dynamic? Yeah. Um. <laughs> like even discipline in all aspects of my life has been mm. lacking for years. Like yeah. I think it's just I'm. Would you be quite laid back of a person? Yeah. Yeah. Like almost, I've described myself as lazy yeah. in every aspect of life. Yeah, like yeah. College school barely got through it like i was happy with you know just passing yeah. you're lucky it means a nice better ah. but uh yeah and just being able to actually commit to something yeah and it, it it's almost like the more disciplined you are the more you're like this is that that's a, a great feeling to be disciplined you know what i mean wow that's yeah. such an interesting perspective man yeah. it is it's so true because what i think about discipline it gives you direction mm. when you're disciplined in life man it's like you think, think about all the sessions that we don't hear. Every time that you come here, you know what you're gonna do, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know you're gonna put the hard work in and how that's gonna correlate to all the other areas of your life. Mm. Discipline is like just having structure and routines, man. And I think that's something you develop as well. And we touched on briefly, habit tracking and everything and morning routines. Yeah. Maybe it's something that you'll cultivate over the next while as well. But it's like, just get disciplined about something, man. Because if you're not disciplined, your direction is in life. Yeah, like there's some people that can just get up in the morning and they're disciplined. They'll do this, do this, do this, do this, yeah. watch the day, and that's their habits, that's the way they are. Yeah. But like for me, that's someone that's really not disciplined to go and be disciplined in one thing, even if it's not your whole day, even yeah. if you're just eating fruit in the morning, yeah. even if you're just doing a bit of mobility or coming here yeah. and training for an hour a day and be yeah. disciplined at that. It's a great feeling to actually say, yeah, Fucking hell, like I did do that. You're showing up for yourself, man. Yeah. And that's the reward. You're like, you're, you're literally proving to yourself that I'm worth doing this. Yeah, yeah. That, I, man, discipline, I think, your life is nothing without discipline. No. It really isn't. You, you because, don't fall apart. Because you, you're just a slave to yourself if you're not. Yeah. You have to be the master of who you are. And if you're not, you're just so aimless in life, man. Yeah. I just think you can't not be a disciplined person. And I love the way you've learned that during this process. And I love the way, man, you learn this now before you go to Spain as well. Because mm. I know when you get to Spain, man, I know whatever you do, man, you're going to be successful at now. Because you've instilled this quality of discipline in your life. Yeah. And, and you've seen how it can be so beneficial. It's transformative. Yeah. It's yeah. transformative, man. And like you said, 
a great example is that it's showing up for every training session. Yeah. And if you didn't, I'd be down to the gaff getting you to come and train anyway. Yeah. So there we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's talk about training a small bit, bro. I, I, actually, just before that question, the importance of standing your ground, mm. like mental strength. I think you kind of mentioned it there with, with self discipline, man. Yeah. I think that's it's such a it's such a um, discipline, man. Like I just think you have to be the master of yourself. Mm. And I think your routines have to be very repetitive in what they are as well. Could, could you describe maybe, is there any routines that you have in your life? You've actually mentioned one already in the morning, like I've always asked you about as well. Yeah. Um, let's go down that route, right? Is there any, so could you demonstrate how you become disciplined with any sort of routines you have in your life? Yeah, so like when we started training, it was kind of like, you were always asking me about like, oh, what, like, what are you doing today? Like, what's happening? Like, voice notes back and forth, checking yeah. in pretty much every day. And I was kind of like, oh, jeez, like, he's really... Does this chap ever give me a break? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, and I was kind of like on edge where I'm like, oh, should I be doing this? Should I be doing this? And it was, it was, now I realize it was like kind of build up like habits and building a day where you're like that, like I got all this done. Mm. But it's kind of like housekeeping stuff where you're like, eat a bit of fruit in the morning. Yeah. Have a good lunch or breakfast or yeah. whatever that is. Check in with the cold showers, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah cold yeah, showers yeah. and then do a bit of mobility. And then mm. like, it's all good habits to pick up that like, then when you go on with your day. They make a it, difference, man. Yeah. They make a significant difference. Like, like two that. or three small things throughout your day make a huge difference. Yeah. It does, man. It's like, it, what I always think of it as you know, is like building small wins. Mm. So if you have the cold shower, that's a small win. You know what yeah. I mean? You're more awareness for the day, clarity of mind, everything else that goes with it. You're, you're awake, which is very important. Yeah. Eating the fruit, getting hydrated, man. You know what I mean? For ourselves, like I was saying, towards the end of this process, because uh, the fruit thing has only came in recently, but what a great habit. I think every day since I've said it to you, you've instilled it, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, every morning, you're now getting hydrated and you'll have your fruit. Three, three types of fruit, man, you're getting it done. And it's keeping you full as well, man. Yeah. And I think that's very important, especially when we're, when we're going probably towards the end, trying to lose that few extra, small bit of pounds, whatever yeah. you could, man. It's key to have, you know what I mean? 100%. But look, you'll take this forward, man. You'll take all these habits forward with you. And what, what you're trying to get better and better at is instilling them and making them habits better, man. Yeah. Because as soon as you start to make them better, you know, success is found in your daily habits, man. That's what it is. If you wanna, if you wanna become successful, you start changing something about your daily habits that you do. Yeah. And as soon as you do that, man, the reward will come in time. But you have to be patient with it as well. Well, that's it, yeah. It's very key. So listen, bro, this has been an amazing conversation, but I do have one final question, yeah. right? And the last question on the board, there, it's a quality you now possess that you didn't have before, right? If you need time to think about it, do, or you can go for it straight away. A quality you possess that you didn't have before. Now, I know we touched on discipline, work ethic, and something else, but if there's something outside that realm that you can think of, let me know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. A quality. A quality that you have. This think one, about yeah. think about the like the difference, like you have a sharp to some mind now. Yeah, I think else. that's a big one. Yeah. And like it's not so much a quality, but like just being able to like it's almost like the quality of having a clear mind, but there's so much in around that that's changed. So like confidence where like it's, it, it's not that I didn't have confidence before. Yeah. I had confidence in myself and I'm very self-aware so I know that like, I can do this, I can do this, I'm good at this. Yeah. And like, maybe it's just that before I wasn't, uh, I don't know, I just wasn't in that mindset to be like. Confident who you were. Outgoing, yeah. Outgoing, yeah. yeah. Things yeah. like that, where it's like. It, it, do you think that's a byproduct of the training you've done? I, 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 not, I, not the physical training, but no. like, this has almost been like a, a Mental process. Yeah, yeah, as well as alongside the physical transformation, like there's been a mental transformation, it, or not, maybe yeah. an emotional transformation almost. Yeah. Where it's like, where I wouldn't have talked up before, I might talk now. Or like the one thing I've noticed with myself that when I'm talking to someone, I never ask, like it's always a one sided conversation because I'm so quiet. Mm. So that, like, you could be talking to me. And you'd be like, oh, you'd be asking me, like, what, what did you do today? What did you last week? How was this going? I remember you t said this, like, how was that? And I'd be like, yep, yep, answering all your questions. And then you'd walk off and I'd be like, I'd never asked him one question. Like, that was such a one-sided conversation. What does he think of me? Like, that was terrible. Yeah, like, yeah. Embarrassing, like. So you feel that you, you've kind of came out of your shell in the sense that you were more willing to ask questions now? Yeah, and that, okay. that's, an, that's just an example of, like, confidence. So, okay, like, that's one thing where I'd, like, notice. It, I, I, what I can relate it back to, man, is just you coming into me, and, and I said this to you from the beginning, bro. Mm. I almost didn't like how timid you were. 
Yeah. You can in life, man, you can be too much of a pushover that people won't even respect you. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And you have to speak up. You have to have a bit of arrogance about you. Yeah. And not in, not in the sense, in a very egotistical sense. It's in the sense that this guy's got self-confidence. Yeah. He can just speak up for himself or he's quietly confident, but he doesn't have to... Um, like you just you're not you're not sitting there being a quiet boy in a corner anymore. Mm. And the example I love referring to man with yourself is, is when we play that game a fucking handball man. Mm. Is when you got pushed off that ball two weeks later, you're pushing everyone else off that well, ball. Well, that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. The, that's the growth. That's the progression that I love to see, man. And it, it sounds, it doesn't sound insignificant because it is very significant, man. When that happened and when I witnessed it, I go, okay, Ian's changing here, and yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely loving every because this is what it is for me, man. I'm picking up on something that you had, maybe because I because I did, man. To be honest, right? I would witness something, a quality inside of you. Maybe it's not so much a quality. Like being timid, man. It's not a quality. It's definitely. I don't. I no. don't feel. But I was like, let's bring this out in, and I said it to you, man. I said, listen, bro, you're you're being a bit too soft with yourself, with other people. Let's change this about you. And it's not like you're walking around all arrogant now. You no, know what I mean? It's, but it's this is people this, can tell straight away when you don't have confidence in yourself. They can, yeah. and, and a great indication of that is how you carry yourself. Yeah. How you carry yourself through life in terms of your posture as well, and that's something we worked on as well, bro. And I definitely noticed the difference in how you, how your posture is, mm. and it's something we will definitely with this journey that continues on. It's something that we will we will improve definitely yeah. so because you've obviously had years of sitting in college, years of sitting in work. Yeah. That whole pelvis man is it's just completely the pelvis has been it's t- anteriorly tilted, tilted but, it, but we yeah. will fix that in due course um but it's great to see you come out of your shell like this man it's mm. great to see you possess so much confidence in yourself and how this makes a difference not just to you Ian, but everyone in your circle man yeah this is massive you know what i mean this is what transformation is about a transformation is about changing the person that changes their circles of family, of friends, of relationships, yes. of girlfriends, of friendships, of everything, man. Mm. People, and I hope they do, see you in a completely different light than they seen you 12 weeks ago. Yeah. That guy walking around, <laughs> you know what I mean? Now he's walking around, zip, 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 zip. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Ian walks into the room, people take note. Mm. Ian Mars here. Eagle's here. Eagle's here, baby. Eagle's here, baby. You know what I mean? So, but this is what it is about for me, Ian. I was seeing a massive transition in you, bro, and I couldn't be any more prouder than what's happened, bro. I swear to God, man. This has been extremely special for me. I've loved every moment of it. You're an absolute gentle fella, and I don't think there's a funnier lad out there, man, because all this has been, apart from the hard, serious training, is all laughs, man. Well, man, even, even the hard training was always complimented with a few laughs. A few laughs, bro. And that's all it's all about, man. If you can't laugh. Well, that's it. And what I love about laughing, there's no tension in the body, no. man. It's just, it's all fun. You know what I mean? Like, we, there was some serious sessions in there. Like, oh, man. I, I love doing the every minute on the minute with you. Yeah. That was intense, man. It like, got pretty dark. Effort. It got dark. <laughs> but you got through, man. But that was the thing. There was, there was times you were going. Any, like, tension. There was never any. No. I don't know. I look hell that's what it be, man. But I also think, man, when you're going through them, it's like, keep pushing, you know, keep pushing. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't keep another like, fucking, come on, you know, yeah. come on, bro. And then you will push through, bro. But that's where that growth comes from. And that's where you move away from being timid, you know, this, yeah. oh, real soft fella. You're hardening the shell, bro, you know what I mean? You're coming out of that shell and you're much harder. You're like a solid turtle of some and sort. You, you have no option but to improve when that happens. Like It's all improvement, bro. Yeah. How else would it be, man? Yeah. How else would it be? So the final question I'll ask, bro. So I've asked about qualities, I've asked about routines and everything else. Going forward, what is maybe, say, one habit in particular that you want to keep when you move to Spain now that you'll instill in your daily habits that you do? Is there one thing in particular that you'd like to focus on? That you did mention kind of goals for the future in terms of maybe hopefully run a marathon at some stage. Yeah. Is there something in particular you'll take forward from, from this training? In particular, I think maybe... The sea swimming is the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, look, that's the over climate. Malaga, bro, it's nice and warm. That's well, that's it, yeah. That there won't, count, won't be any... There's no yeah. cold showers in Spain, bro. <laughs> there won't be any harsh <laughs> winters in Spain, bro. No, but I think the... The, um, the idea of that, of, of getting out and actually not just, you know, oh, I might take a cold shower. And yeah. you're like, oh, that was fucking horrific. Like, yeah, right, yeah. Let's get on with the day. Where you're like, I'm going to get out and I might go for a run, yeah. might do a bit of training, but yeah. like I'm gonna go out, have a sea swim, and like you're just out, and you're up doing something, and you're starting your day, or you're so you're more you're more encouraged and just to just go forth with yeah, it. whatever maybe like sea swims, exercise, whatever. Yeah, and man, I think that's so key, man. And like I don't think self development is all that complicated. It's like get no. serious about training yourself, get serious about being in the cold water, get serious about morning routines, habits like you yeah. develop as well, man. 
is that when you get serious about it, you're now the epitome of what it is, man. People can see, and like I will portray this um, on the Instagram page, man. Like I've only just put up one post so far, but mm. many clips will come from this as well. But I was like, if you get serious about certain elements of what you do in your life, there will be major progression. Yeah. And that's how it is, man. Mm. And look, this is very inspiring for someone that's out there that was in your situation 12 weeks ago, man. Yeah. Think about, like, I just can't get over that I'm, like, how you develop so much, man. In such a short, just... in a short period of time, man. Yeah. It's been crazy, bro. It is. It's been it really crazy. And back. I fucking love the fact that it's happened, man, because I get to be around a confident guy now. Well, I go. always talk this, I always say this, and I said it to Brian as well, man, in the interview. I want to be around confident people, and they're the sort of people I'm trying to build. It's confident people to have this confidence in themselves, but it's not to the point where they're being arrogant about it. No, but it's you are just like, this inner confidence that you yeah. now possess, and it brings man. everyone up around you. Like there you go, you yeah. said it. You said it. You know, listen, bro, this has been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, thank I you very much. Man, look, the conversation flowed. Yeah, how else would it go, man? I yeah, knew it would go too. well. Half an hour of solid work, man. Yeah. Thank you so much for for being on the first episode of no the James Hamilton show. Um, we may have got a bit tipsy, but we're, oh, all, good. Sorry. we're all good, bro. No, all I do good. want to say thank you very much, James. And this has been, honestly, a life-changing experience. Like, I appreciate it, bro. Pre-set. Because it wasn't overnight, that, that was why it didn't... Like, it wasn't just like that. Yeah. It was like, oh, Jesus, that was a crazy epiphany. Yeah. Like, but I, I don't was, think anything in life happens like that, bro. No. Well, depending on whatever it is. But, like, the situation, when, when it's this progress, it's like... It is slow, incremental process. Mm. But once you compound that interest of showing up every day, like the multiple sessions you've done, like yeah. everything else you do in your life, it's going to happen, man. And the results, the proof's in the pudding. That's it. Literally proof's in the pudding. And it's not, it's not resistance training three times a week, eat your chicken and rice and that's it. You know? <laughs> and broccoli. It's, well, that's it. Like, yeah. It's not that. And that's what makes it different. And that's what makes it succeed I think where yeah. like you're not you're I, I, I wouldn't I, the way I come across man I, I'd never like to be dogmatic to people but advise people in the right way yeah and that's 100%. how it is yeah. in every aspect of your life like mentally fi- mentally, physically emotionally well for, for me this is why I got into this man mm-hmm. is like I just had this insight I can transform people more than just the physical element that's one part of yeah. the puzzle I'm looking at the holistic point of view man the, like the broader perspective yeah. if I can develop you in many ways like you mentioned mentally uh, physically emotionally Goals achieved. Mm. Goals achieved fucking tenfold, man. You yeah. know what I mean? And I feel with you, man, and with previous clients, even Brian just being a recent one as well, because we've only done the interview recently, it's like, that's what I'm achieving now. Mm. It's like, I'm getting the best out of you. I get so much satisfaction from that, yeah. man. That's the reward I get. Yeah, I'm like hooked on this road. Building, like. yeah, yeah, man, I'm incredible. hooked on this road. Mm. And I'm just trying to build an army of guys that are feeling this way. And hopefully girls at some stage yeah. that are feeling this way, man. It's that absolutely unstoppable. Like, it's you might even stop it. And then you're flying off to, flying off to Spain, bro. Well, that's it. That's it, bro. Listen, this has been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. I have Thank fucking loved much. every moment of it. The conversation was even Likewise. better. Um, a lot covered here, bro. A lot yeah. of value, yeah. indeed. Um, who knows, bro? We could do this again in the future. Yeah, geez, that flew. That was 40, ah, well, probably 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Push, that, yeah. push for 40 minutes, bro. Could be. Listen, I appreciate it, man. Thank you man, so man, much, Ian. Thank you so chance. much. Listen, it's a pleasure. Ian Marr was the first man on the James Hinton Show. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Cheers, thank you. Savage, man. That was brilliant. That was so quick, man. How so good was that, man? Jeez. I love the setup, bro. I love mm. the back and forth. It was mm. perfect.